Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth reporting from the K2 Spot, giving you all a brand new video and it's on the season 7 premiere of the Bravo hit, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now it premiered, you know, November 9th at 8 o'clock p.m. on Bravo, so just so you guys know, this review right here, you know, because you know the show premiere was an hour, but I'm going to break it down a little bit for you guys so it won't be too long, but I'm going to make sure, you know, I get to the points of what was talked about and everything. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been having questions. I probably already know what's been going on with the cast changes and everything. For the record, Portia is still on the show, but she is not going to be... She's been demoted as a friend to the show, so she won't be holding a peach. You know, to be in after they introduce the uh, Housewives of Atlanta's uh, taglines for each uh, lady. So that way you guys know that. So Portia is still on the show, but just not full-time housewife. And Claudia Jordan was not on the season 7 premiere episode, but she will be coming. I think she will be popping up probably, I don't think episode 2, probably like episode 3 or 4, probably like in the middle or so. So you guys just be on the lookout for that because you know it's going to be full of drama right there. But the first episode was called, you know, titled Bye Bye and Bon Voyage. So, you know, it was just going into what's been going on with each of the ladies. Like it starts off with NeNe going through in New York, you know, being like a, um, a showgirl for this production called Zumanity, and you know she had she was showing her getting um doing her lines of production, you know just being calm, collecting. She had to take a break from the ladies. Everybody knows, you know, from the whole reunion and everything. But she, you know, when they were getting her hair and makeup for the wig she had on, gave her full drag queen look. But I look, even though I know sometimes Nene say some stuff and may throw some shade, but it was cool. I have no problems with Nene. I'll say that, but you know that was what was going on with Nene. Then again, you know, talk to her with Greg and everything. But you also go into the next um, housewife, which y'all know is Candy. You know, talking about the aftermath of her and Todd getting married on April fourth, two thousand fourteen, which is four four fourteen. When they got married, you know, it's just them getting um, Candy trying to Candy and trying to get everything together for when. Todd's her stepdaughter, aka Todd's daughter, Kayla, is gonna be living with them. And you know, just going into that whole situation. But then at the same time, you're gonna go through a lot with Phaedra. A lot of this episode is gonna be talking about Phaedra a lot with her husband, or I should say, soon to be ex husband, Apollo. You know, dealing with, you know, his Simpson at the time. But it was just pretty, like, crazy. But you do, we do get into the other housewives. Let me make sure we get into that. You got, you do see um, Candy meet up with Portia at a photo shoot. And, you know, they're talking a little bit. And, you know, it was pretty interesting. You know, I was just talking about the whole, you know, aftermath. Candy was asking Portia, did she talk to Kenya about it? She's like, no. And saying, do you feel like you guys did talk about it? And then, you know, you also at the same time, simultaneously, you had... Cynthia coming to visit uh, Kenya at her place because you know at the time when they were showing this premiere Kenya went around the world for like about three months so she was all around the world she just took a vacation from after the whole you know the whole aftermath of the reunion you know her and Portia fighting but at the same time Kenya did provoke that uh, provoke Portia now I don't condone violence either now but Kenya had the props and everything we all know that but Kenya knew she was wrong on that, but at the same time, she got her got quiet ever since that ass whooping happened. But she felt publicly embarrassed, but at the same time, you have to be careful what you put out there. Because I know she's from Detroit, but you know she's living in Atlanta. But sometimes you just got to be careful how you choose your words and how you pick on somebody. Because when you pick on the wrong person that you may think is wimpy, they will snap at you. So that was the reaction of that. But, you know, afterwards, you know, you get into... Um, with them talking about everything. And then, you know, you go into it with um, Cynthia and her, you know, Cynthia doing her thing at the Bailey Agency. You know, getting herself with her, you know, her uh, clients and everything. Her client, they show her trying to sh work with her um, runway walk. And, you know, it's going to that. But then at the same time, you had, you went going back to, you know, with her and um, Peter. And, you know, talking about how they want to... Peter wants Cynthia to partner up with her for Bar One because they're trying to find a new location. And, you know, that whole situation with the foreclosure. But it wasn't with um, Peter. It was just the landlord people had a foreclosure. So just so if you guys are wondering that, you know why. 
And also, you're going to, like I said, it's, a lot of this is dealing with Phaedra and Apollo, with Apollo sentencing. We're going to go into that right now, because I know a lot of this is going to be flip-flopping. So, just in case if you guys are watching it, you know what I'm talking about. But, you know, going to how Phaedra how just didn't want to stay at her house. She was at her um, a hotel room with her sons, you know, Aiden and um, Dylan, a.k.a. you guys know him as Mr. President, as she calls him. And, you know, she was there, her mom there, Pastor Regina. So, you know, or I say Miss Regina, but I know they say Pastor Regina on the, um, when they show the name. But, you know, just talking about how Phaedra just didn't want to deal with paparazzi. Even though, for the record, I didn't see no paparazzi, but I can understand where Phaedra was coming from. But at the same time, even though I know she was kind of pissed off at Apollo, because Apollo was wrong, you know, got, um, with his sentencing for fraud and all the above. Even though I know she didn't agree with everything, and I know she felt like he made that decision on his own. She could have at least been there, but even though she could have been like, okay, I'm going to be there just, for, you know, for the sentence. Even if she had to go to the sentence, she could have at least been like, let the, you know, let the boy spend time with the dad. But, you know, she just probably felt like, because, you know, she's an attorney and everything, she probably felt like it just, she didn't want to be part of that element. So I can understand with that, but at the same time, it comes off as kind of a little suspect and a little bit bad. But you can't follow everybody's situations different. We all can't think that we have the best decisions on what she should have done but she she you know everybody did their um own decision maker so you can't you have to just take it for what it is but i know it's gonna be it's gonna get a lot heated up it's gonna be really getting riled up especially that drama with apollo and phaedra lord jesus give me give the strength on them so for the record i know you guys know apollo got since eight years in prison so, you know, my heart goes out to Apollo. I'm sure he, I know he's in jail, and every, in jail and everything. So, my heart goes out to him. So, shout out to Apollo. I didn't agree with what you did. I didn't agree with what Apollo did and what he did. So, I, my reflection is not a reflection of what's really um, how I feel about everybody. But just, just I don't agree with everything. But this doesn't reflect K265 or anything on YouTube. So, just so y'all know that. But also, and just to conclude everything... You do see that Phaedra did come back to um, the house to her husband. You know, her and Apollo, they, um, they had some exchange of words, but it wasn't bad. But you could tell it just was like the shit hit the fan. But it was funny, like in earlier the episode, you got to see, we got to meet um, Apollo's brother, Michael, and his mom, Katrina, a.k.a. Miss Katrina. So that was good to see that. But it was just it's a tough predicament because I know dealing with jail and then dealing with kids that are one and four. So... That makes everything complicated when you have children involved, you know, that being their dad. But, hey, it is what it is, you guys. And then you also get to just see, you know, just how everything just kind of unfolded. And it kind of ended right there with Apollo and um, Phaedra's situation. But, overall, it was, it had this emotional moments, but it was pretty good. You know, I, I was expecting a little bit more, to be honest with you guys, but... It is what it is, but I know it's just episode one, so you know I know it's gonna get more juicier and juicier with each episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys wanna catch up with the um one C episodes of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you can catch it every Sunday night at eight o'clock PM on Bravo or at the moment. Because you know they're probably gonna either keep it at eight o'clock or probably nine o'clock PM. So that way y'all know what's going on. It's on Bravo, so make sure you guys check your local listings for any time area where you guys are at. And hopefully you guys keep up with the girls, keep up with uh, Nene, Leaks, uh, Candy Burst, Tucker, Kenya Moore, Cynthia, um, Bailey, and you know some uh, Claudia Jordan when they show when they talk about her, Phaedra Parks, everybody who of uh, the whole cast of the ladies. So shout out to all the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Keep doing what you're doing. I know everybody's going through their own personal drama and just personal obstacles, but hey, do what you gotta do. And that's about it. So you want to keep up with your boy right here, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at KTooks. The show that you're watching, the KTooks Spot, it does have a Twitter page at KTooks Spot. And hopefully if you guys enjoyed the review. And I just did the best I could, so hopefully you guys, this is my best way of um, talking about the show. Hopefully it helped you out with want to watch it. Maybe it helped you understand it more. Please make sure you like this video by thumbsing it up, by liking it. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you comment. After you've um, watched the Season 7 premiere, Episode 1 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, let me know what you guys thought about the episode, because I know we all going to have a lot of opinions. I know I'm going to hear opinions, but I don't know what you guys think. Did you guys think Phaedra did was was kind of messy? Did you feel like it was included? Did you feel like Apollo was being messy with how he took everything? Because I know it, things are not going to get answered on this 
a review, but you know we're all gonna have our opinions. So everybody, if you don't have no, don't have really nothing nice to say, I have something harsh to say. Please don't write it on here, but just let me know what you guys thought about it. Like what you thought about how everything went down. And also make sure you subscribe to the K2 Spot. You can either push the subscribe button down here or just go up here where it says uh, subscribe here. And hopefully you guys just support your boy because I do keep up, keep it real. And I also at the same time do give you guys updated on music, television shows, you know, all the above. Books, re book reviews, all the above. So hopefully you guys just keep up with your boy and this won't be your last time tuning in to me. So, because I know you guys have a lot of options on YouTube, but hopefully you guys support me. And I support you guys and love you guys dearly for every all the love you show me. And this is your boy Kenna. Sign off from the K2 Spot. So you guys have a blessed one and you'll see me again later. So bye-bye everybody.